look, cycles happen, okay? And, uh, you know, um, uh, you can't go up forever, right? Uh, that, so there's always going to be a, um, a pullback, if you will, when valuations continue. You're either, you're either going up, down, or sideways, right? And so you can't keep going up and up and up, all right? Um, uh, uh, and so, of course, these cycles happen. Um, I think, uh, you know, across my 25-year career, um, I think this up cycle feels more um, substantive, uh, uh, given the emergence of technologies that are actually finding their way to approval, right? I mean, last year we saw a CAR-T get approved, a gene therapy get approved, Spark's uh, product, uh, and a RNAi get approved, okay? Three modalities that have been added for a while, some longer than others, uh, where you're seeing approvals. And so I think, you know, you look at gene therapy, uh, and, you know, the uh, exuberance around it is probably what, you know, led to, you know, Avexis's uh, acquisition and why a lot of gene therapies are valued so highly you know, with their single programs. Uh, so I think there's a validation that these new technologies are finding their way to success. Um, and also we've seen this phenomenon where platform technology companies uh, get that credit for value of where, uh, the, what I would call the transformational power of that platform. If you go back over the last 20 years, I think most investors were better off betting on product What's your lead product? When's it gonna get approved? How big is that disease population and how much money can you make on that product? Um, that hasn't been the case in the last five years. Uh, uh, if you bet on product, you, there's few and far between outsized successes. If you bet on platform, there's plenty of uh, areas to point to uh, for outsized valuations on platform technologies. Um, and so I think those pendulums always swing back and forth and I, wouldn't know how to predict, uh, you know, when this one's going to turn back to product focused or when valuations might, you know, um, come more uh, back to historical norms. Uh, 